Last time we were looking at 80mm fans, we had the baby version of an object fan, the Redux R8. But what if we tune that thing with some bling bling and make it extra expensive? This is the Noctia NFA8 PWM, the 80mm premium fan. And as it usually is the case with Noctia stuff, it begins with the packaging. A way too premium type of box that can be opened via Velcro, revealing where all of that hard earned liver money went that you so graciously gifted Noctia. And although this is the GNOME version of an actual fan, this is still a Noxia A-Line fan and we got the A-Line treatment. Two ways of mounting the fan via screws or anti-vibration rubber knobs, 20 cm long PWM cable coming out of the fan, which is extendable with another included 30 cm extension, a 1-2 PWM splitter and a low noise adapter getting the max speed down to 1750. But that was just the included stuff. On the fan itself we got a ton of reinforcements, rubber on every corner, Noxia stepped inlet design, flow acceleration channel, Panels on the blades, Noxia's SSO2 bearing, basically everything. We got everything that Noxia had to offer up until they released the G2 version of their fan. And all of that applies to basically every A8, because there are six different versions of this fan. The one of today's episode, the slightly slower spinning one with a 3-pin voltage control plug, the GNOME with two broken legs at 1400 RPM, and the two 5 volts versions for the very, 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 very special use cases. And then of course the Chromax Black, which performance-wise is identical to the one of today. It just looks way prettier. And so are the stats considering what this is. At 2200 RPM, we can squeeze out up to 32.6 CFM at up to 2.37 mm of H2O. So compared to the Redux, we got a very interesting comparison. The A8 got slightly... Yeah, I would say wider blades with a more angled curve, but stats-wise, the A8 produces just minimally more CFM, it just does so at a much higher static pressure. And with that out of the way, let's see if Noctia's top-of-the-line 80mm fan can actually top off the benchmark charts for the really small ones. To benchmark these, we strap them to the case simulator where we measure the performance by looking at the CPU temperature underneath a passive Noctia P1 and where the fans are just recycling the air within the box. Here we reused our new 80mm adapter plates, allowing us to compare them to basically every fan, so 120s and 140s, just because it's funny, but we will focus, or we will mainly focus, on the results of all the 80 millimeter fans. First we start with the fans at full blast and then we slowly lower the fan speed in 10% steps to get a noise to performance curve. Here again it's an 80 millimeter fan so we had to move the dB meter to be 30 centimeters away from the fan otherwise everything just became noise floor. And with that Let's look at the results. Letting it run wild at 2200 RPM, the Noxia NFA8 kept the chip at 47 degrees C above ambient. And I think that's a very impressive result. Sure, it didn't outperform the P8 Max, but that sucker was spinning at 5000 RPM. And compared to the Noxia R8, the A8 definitely won. And the A8 actually managed to outperform the P8 Slim, which regardless of its eating disorder could spin at up to 3000 RPM. So no, even a 2200 RPM quick mini fan can do stuff as long as it is designed for like a million bucks. And to put things into a bigger perspective, on the big chart, the A8 of course landed at the very, very bottom. But what I found interesting here is the margin of error between the S12B and the A8. Interesting to see how a much, much smaller form factor compares to a 1000 RPM slower spinning fan. That said, Noxia's A line of fans were always about the noise and how that compares to the performance. And on that, they really delivered here. This is not even close to any other 80mm fan. Sure, you can always argue that the P8 Max can push the boundary much, much further, and that's certainly true. But if noise is something you care about and you do not need the brutal performance of the P8 Max, the A8 can deliver a much, much, much better experience. Hell, it's nearly impossible for me to record the noise at all. And that's not all. The R8 from Noxia, absolute annihilation. And if you normalize the two to the max performance of the R8, the A8 is already sitting at noise floor, and normalize the noise to the max of the A8, and the R8 is far, far behind.
overall, as far as 80 millimeter fans are concerned, the A8 is the perfect noise optimized option. If you got a NAS, a very small server or a big ass switch or whatever, and you do not need the max performance of a P8 NAS, you do need the, the, the throughput at 5,000 RPM, a A8 will do a very, very quiet job, much better than the Arctic P8 or P8 Max or Nokia's own R8. But then there's the price. A single one of these is currently going for 18 bucks. I mean, considering what Nokia usually does, it's not unheard of, but you gotta consider that you can get like three P8 Maxes for a single one of these. So although this might win in the noise to performance comparison, price is definitely not Noxia's pretty size. But okay, this should be everything on the Noxia NFA8 PWM and the current noise to performance king in the 80 millimeter department. And at this point, a huge thank you to Noxia for sending this whisper quiet puppy over. Oh, on a side note, we have a Discord server. So if you wanna join, the link is down below. And we got channel membership. So if you are planning to sell your soul for an RG poop emoji, that's one way to go. But if not, I'm also releasing the content to all members two or three weeks in advance. Except for the NDA stuff, because, you know, I, I don't want to get sued. Additionally, you can rest assured that the income will not only keep the channel afloat, but it will also serve to get a mini crown for a mini gnome. The A8 deserves that one, and everybody else deserves a lower price tag. Anyway, thank you for watching, and if you want to keep going, have a look at our take on the P8 Max from Arctic. Maybe you need the extra horsepower, and that's more for you. Thank you for watching, hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.